Lately, I have been thinking about how important it is to carve out that me time. Being a mom, a wife, and having a full-time job, it is always already a constant struggle to find that work-life balance. Let alone finding that me time. Today it is going to be a me day. I'm going to do a wet test on these two new sunscreens and then we're gonna go to a nursery, buy some plants and then plant them. So first this is a super goop sheer mineral sunscreen. It has zinc oxide and it's not water resistant and it's SP30 and it's supposed to be very sheer but we'll see. Sometimes or a lot of times um, a Non-tinted mineral sunscreen will leave a white cast on my skin color But a little bit is okay As you can see here, there is a little bit of a white cast But it is blending out really well Now since it is mineral, it is safe for me to put around my eyes I know that it is not going to irritate or burn my eyes Actually that white cast is not too bad and no pills okay so this is a um, chemical sunscreen this is new to super goop it's water resistant for 40 minutes and it has four chemicals in here and normally I use chemical sunscreens to kind of reapply throughout the day and I don't put it around my eyes because once they break down it can be really irritating but it is blending up really well and the benefit of using a chemical sunscreen is that you don't have to worry about that white cast and no pills so let's hit the road It has been about an hour, now I'm going to reapply the sunscreens. So let's start with this clear one first. And I like that my face is not greasy at all. Let's put the other one on. Even with a lot of layers on, I feel like the white cast is not bad, it's very minimal. Okay, let's get something to eat. So in this vlog, I'm going to share something that is personal to me and when I first started out this channel, I was actually separated from my husband and it was a time when our son Brian had to spend half the time with daddy and half the time with mommy and when he wasn't spending any time with me, I had a lot of time, um, a lot of downtime and that was when I realized how important getting a me time is. Um, it really allows me to reflect on life and then to really um, go out there and do all the things that I just keep putting off like starting a YouTube channel um, and also to learn to appreciate all the things that I perhaps did not appreciate before now that my husband and I are back together, it is difficult to find that me time again. Um, even when I wanted to, I would feel guilty. Um, but knowing how important it is, today was a really good day. I was able to not do 
any chores in the house. I went to the nursery and bought a bunch of plants and they are waiting for us. So let's go do some planting. I wait for the easy. I cannot believe I finished planting all those plants. It was a lot of work, but it feels so so good. And so let's finish reviewing these two sunscreens. Um, I am super impressed that the finishes of these sunscreens are not greasy. I've been in the yard for so long and my face is not greasy. And even when I reapply the sunscreen on my skin, especially this chemical one, it's not greasy. How is that possible? It's definitely less greasy than my Shiseido sunscreen, which I absolutely love. Uh, but this sunscreen, I'm definitely going to take this with me to Asia. I'm traveling to Asia this weekend. And yeah, moving on to the mineral sunscreen. This sunscreen is very impressive. It is sheer, uh, but it is a little bit of a white cast on my skin color. But it's not prominent, even with every single layer. Um, so overall, I love these two sunscreens. If you enjoy sunscreen sticks, you would definitely enjoy these. Let me know down in my description box below if you like this style of vlogging and what are your thoughts on these sunscreens. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and like always, I will see you next time. Bye!